Hi, and welcome to the DE Physical Education Flip Learning videos. Year 8 Muscles Antagonistic Pairs Voluntary muscles and their role within physical activity. Movement, sporting or otherwise, is produced when voluntary muscles attached to the bones by tendons contract to produce movement. Sporting actions are strong examples of the work that the musculoskeletal system does. A contracting voluntary muscle pulls on a bone, which alters the angle of the joint and the movement is produced. Voluntary muscles. Voluntary muscles are muscles in your body that you can control by thinking, above other voluntary muscles that are used for the majority of sports. Tricep, latissimus dorsi, external obliques, gluteus maximus, hamstring, gastronemius, tibialis anterior, quadriceps, hip flexors, pectoralis major, bicep and deltoid. Antagonistic pairs. Muscles are only capable of pulling, not pushing. Therefore, they have to work in pairs to allow movement. These are called antagonistic pairs. The bicep and the tricep contract and relax to allow the arm to flex and extend at the elbow. A pair of muscles is called an antagonistic pair. The muscle contracting is known as the agonist, while the opposite muscle, which is relaxing, is known as the antagonist. As you can see here in this diagram, the antagonistic is the bicep, which contracts and brings the forearm up towards the shoulder. And the antagonist is the tricep that relax. On the way back down, the roles switch over. So the tricep becomes the agonist and contracts, moving the forearm towards the floor. And your antagonist is the bicep and it relaxes. The following muscles make up the main antagonistic pairs that are used in the majority of sports. Bicep, tricep, these cause flexion and extension, and this happens at the elbow. The hip flexors and the gluteus maximus, this again causes flexion and extension, this happens at the hip. Your hamstring and your quadricep, they cause flexion, extension, this happens at the knee. And your tibialis anterior and your gastrocnemius cause dorsiflexion and plantar flexion at the ankle. So dorsiflexion is when you move your toes upwards towards the sky and plantar flexion is when you plant them towards the floor. Look at this skier as he flexes and extends at the hips to crouch into the turn and then stands up again. His hip flexors and gluteus maximus will switch between acting as an antagonist and antagonist. Think of your sport, think of a movement which an antagonistic pair is used.